right guys here we are out at sea the Ralph is steering the boat with his foot there no no telepathy oh telepathy my bad look mom no hands Watch. telepathy Watch. Hold on, let me autopilot ah oh, this is autopilot right there the boat steers itself uh how does it feel to sail the boat <laughs> he's using that telepathy skill down there oh yeah uh ryan how does it feel to sail this boat sail the for the first the time your your second boat now how does it feel to sail this boat for the first time that's all i get is good what what's it feel like with the wind blowing through your hair and your fingers on that steering wheel <laughs> a lot better than you Oh, that's already, that's a known, so a lot, care to elaborate? How does it feel? How, how is that? I'm excited. Excited, nice. And, uh, uh, are you nervous at all for the hurricane that's only two days away? I am. Oh. <laughs> It'll be good though. It'll, it will be okay. Any, care to add any words, Ralph? <laughs> I think Ralph's good. Um, you're not nervous at all? Oh, okay. Well, I can I can say that you seem very nervous this morning and, and yesterday. And, uh, yeah. Oh. So, uh, what are you guys going to do to kill the next five hours? We're going to discuss the patent of our new autopilot. <laughs> eat some crackers or... Uh, For five hours, you're going to eat crackers. Salted wheat <laughs> snacks to not be, to be PC. Salted wheat? Snacks. Snacks. Okay. That sounds delectable. So, we're gonna say goodbye now. Last words? Don't goodbye. eat yellow snow. <laughs> Alright. I just woke up. Hey. But, I gotta get up because we're about to leave. So, uh... Stowed all the plants. Um, getting ready to go. You can hear them up there closing all the hatches. Gotta get everything stowed. Gotta put those dishes away in a minute. And we're gonna be leaving this beautiful, beautiful place. Some awesome rock views over there. I gotta put the dinghy up. And then we'll be on our way shortly. <laughs> What's the name of this place again? Pirateers Cove. Pirateers Cove. No, you're lying. What's the name of this place? Really cool privateer? Sweet. Well, it's very beautiful, but we gotta go now. So yeah, this is the start of the morning. Woke up and we're about to leave. Our water got contaminated uh, by salt water. So our, our, ga our tank um, got a little salt water in it, so we can't drink the water. And our jib sail ripped last night. Or yesterday, so that's why we're in this dilemma where we stopped in St. John, U.S. Virgin Islands, and we got to go kind of fast this morning, take off to go to St. Thomas to go get some new water, and uh, yeah, because our water is contaminated by salt water and our jib sails ripped, so we're going to only be sailing with our mainsail today. So it's a good thing it's a short distance, and it's just right over there. Here I'll show you that island right there. So, yeah, that's the predicament. It'll work out, though. So I'm just drinking coconut water out of a can. Stay hydrated.
Leaving Norman Island, headed to Coral Bay. Here we go. Where are we again? We're in Coral Bay now. I just found out my computer's destroyed. It got wet because I forgot the kombucha. The kombucha destroyed the laptop. Anyways, we're gonna go get water. We just made it to St. John. Here we go. Oh, almost fell. <laughs> They're so great. Say, go uh, paddleboard into shore. Well, row. We're gonna row into shore. Yeah. They've kicked us out. <laughs> Ow! What's that yelling? Will you learn? Oh, sorry. I will close it. No, you won't. Um, I thank you for it. closing it. You're great. Okay, let's go to the island. You're right, sorry. I was going to cross over. Why do people come here to bring their boats, like, to trash them? Yeah. It's just important to document, like, the hurricane damage to me. Especially since we're in a place where it got heavily damaged. Dumpster chickens! Eating dumpster chicken food. There's ducks. Nice. Yeah, I will. Look at all these chickens and ducks. All over the place. What? What? There's all kinds of wild chickens on uh, in the Virgin Islands. I'm gonna try to show you some. There's some wild chickens with babies. Chickens and roosters, too. Hurricane damage from Irma and Maria. Um, the hurricanes that hit the Virgin Islands. There's a house in the distance there you can see a little, with more hurricane damage. Yep, lots of hurricane damage. Some boat wreckage from the hurricane. More hurricane damage. There's a wild donkey and a car coming. <laughs> but a wild donkey. And there's some of the hurricane damage from Hurricane Maria and Irma. Okay. Um. What do you love? Freedom. 
and the right to make your own choices. Um, what do you fear? Failure. Mm. And, um, if you could change something, either in the world or yourself, what would you change? In the world or in your own life, I'm sorry. Put more effort in when I should have. You mean in your past? And... Um, what do you have in your pocket? Hopes and dreams. No, really, what do you have in your pocket? Really? Come on, let me see. <laughs> And dreams. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Come on, let me see what's in your pocket. Just gotta believe in them. It's <laughs> such a liar. Ooh, change. And a bottle cap. Okay, what else is in your pocket? That's it. Okay. On the other side, there's nothing. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you love? Um, I love nature, um, I love, like, the ocean, the mountains, I just love the earth, like, I, I would say people as well, um, but if I could only choose one, then I would say, uh, nature, like, the earth, I just love the earth. Alright, what do you fear? I f fear losing somebody that I love, like, uh... A family, anybody that I love, a friend, a family member, just losing somebody that I love. If you could change one thing about the world or one thing about yourself, what would that be? Um, I would change the opportunities for children. I would, I would make equal opportunity for all children, um, meaning equal education opportunity. Um, no, it's impossible to do, but no child in hunger, no child lacking in education and clothing, uh, and no girl, um, because of the fact that she's a female, lacking in any opportunity that her brother has. So I'd make equal opportunity for all children. And what's in your pocket? Well, I don't have pockets, because I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> So, there's nothing in my pocket. Alright, signing enough. <laughs> so, my laptop broke. It's been draining water all day. I was pretty upset about that. My kombucha, which is right now, is right in here. Oh, well, you can't see it, it's too dark, but it's right in there. My kombucha's there. It was next to my laptop over there and it totally spilled all over my laptop and I was super, super, super upset and now my laptop's broken. That's what you get for not storing things properly. All right, uh, in the jungle. Here we go, just the last birds. Stand ready, lion. Lion ready. Hush, my darling, don't fear, my darling. The lion sleeps tonight. Roar!